Welcome everyone, today we are going to eat the chemicals and before I dive right into this I have to say all of these are food grade, it is perfectly safe to eat them but you should not try this yourself. I looked up how much of these chemicals is allowed in food and I am going to take the appropriate amount because you can't just decide to chuck a whole bottle of benzaldehyde even if it says that it's food grade. And regarding caffeine right here, Caffeine is more toxic than you might think and about 5 grams can already kill you or land you in the hospital. So let's begin. We're going to start with benzaldehyde. As I said, you should not just chug it and therefore I have two drops of benzaldehyde right in this glass. And before tasting any of it, I am going to fill this glass up with water. This dilutes it down a great bit and as you can see, there's some tiny droplets floating around. Let me stir it up. Yeah, give it a nice stir and this should be enough. If I taste a few drops, yeah, might still be way too much benzaldehyde. It's like 0.1% of benzaldehyde. But I would say it tastes like bitter almonds. Kind of nice, but you shouldn't just try this. This is limonene. Limonene is more or less an essential oil and essential oils are not healthy. And because it's also quite toxic, I'm going to take a drop at the end of this spoon, put it into this glass and do the same thing with water again. Dilute it down, maybe not this much this time. Yeah, maybe this amount of water is already efficient. Stir it up, give it a taste and tastes a little like lemons or oranges but I wouldn't recommend this. Lemons, uh, lemons and oranges are still the real deal. This is caffeine because it's already near bedtime because I'm filming this late in the day I'm just going to taste a tiny amount Yeah, caffeine tastes extremely bitter. Now maybe to the safest compounds and this is one that all of you know. This is sodium chloride, also known as table salt. Also food grade even if it's in a laboratory bottle and what's good about this is that this sodium chloride does not contain any additives. Normally your sodium chloride also contains potassium ferrocyanide or ferricyanide, I don't know which one, it's a yellow one, to keep it from clumping up and this one is clean. Hmm? Tastes a little, yeah, still tastes exactly like salt. As I said, the salt you buy contains stuff like iodine and other additives. This here is glycerin or glycerol. It's a propane molecule with three alcohol groups. And because of these many alcohol groups, it, it should taste somewhat sweet. It's also pretty viscous as you could have seen. Yeah, it's not enough of the spool anymore. Yeah, extremely sweet. But even though this tastes sweet, you should not drink it because it can give you some bad diarrhea if you drink too much glycerin. This here is phenylacetic acid. Yes, phenylacetic acid can be food grade. And yes, I am allowed to have phenylacetic acid. It also tastes interesting because phenylacetic acid tastes... No, did I say taste? I said smell. It also smells quite interesting. It smells like cress to me. Yeah, a tiny piece should. Yeah. This is a tiny piece of phenylacetic acid right here. And. Sweet. Ah, no, not sweet. 
sour like all acids because acids are acidic and these protons they give off taste sour but to me it tastes like cress you know this green stuff that you can put on salad or whatever yeah tastes exactly like cress to me this right here is vanillin and i'm just going to smell it because i already know what it tastes like it's used in many forms of ice that you can buy at the supermarket because it's basically cheap vanilla cheap vanilla extract synthetic vanilla extract it smells exactly like vanilla yeah. this stuff has a great smell i love vanilla and for the first part of this video i am going to end it with this this is methyl phenyl acetate it's also food grade even though it's a methyl ester and of this i am just going to taste a tiny amount because i already tasted it and it's pretty harsh yeah well phenyl acetic acid tasted like cress this stuff tastes like cress on steroids the taste is extremely sour sour bitter yeah somewhere like that but if i had to decide if i had to decide which one of those tastes best i would still go with the methylphenyl acetate i don't know why maybe it's just that my sense of taste is fucked up but even though this stuff tastes bitter sweet and even somewhat spicy i love the smell of this i love the smell i love the taste it's great this was it for today tomorrow i am going to do another video on amino acids see you tomorrow